Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Time for a quick little garden update here. Uh, the lettuces are doing good. Need to get those transplanted as soon as possible. I'm actually thinking about um, building me a hydroponics wall uh, as soon as possible, probably in the basement, uh, so I can grow lettuces and stuff for the rabbits and myself during the winter. Onions not looking so hot, but they're still kicking. Bell pepper still growing. Got some new peppers coming on. Got a nice big one down there. Uh, the second banana pepper I just planted. Uh, the okra is doing phenomenal. Um, as you can see, we've got some baby okra there coming on. Both plants got some baby okra coming on. Banana pepper tree is doing awesome. And this thing's, including the bucket, it's about five feet high. Uh, cayenne pepper is doing great. The squash, you can tell, they're, they're done. Uh, the potatoes, the sweet potatoes are doing good. Um, like I said, I only planted two slips and they're both up and growing. The small reds, uh, as I figured, they were pretty banged up when they, they went to the dirt. I mean, they were they were wrinkled up like raisins and I just don't think they had the energy to, to make anything happen. So uh, after I covered, and I let them get pretty big before I covered them. After I covered them, they just didn't do anything. So I think they were kind of wore out. Uh, the tomatoes, the hydroponic big Zach is still green, still hanging on. This one here just will not die, like legitimately. I've got my seeds, I gotta pull from those to save. This one's still making tomatoes, they're small, but it's still making them. Uh, the big Zach that I took off of this plant was absolutely delicious. I've been eating on that thing for two days now. I've got four or five more on here. This is doing pretty good. I got a couple of uh, uh, Cherokee purples here. And as you can see, this monster on the end is, I mean, I've got several, several tomatoes on here. A couple of good sized clusters ready to go. And this thing's about, it's an easy nine foot tall. I mean, I'm holding this thing. This is eye, this is eye level. And it just keeps going. It's, just, it's up there, it's a good sized tomato. Watermelon is finally starting to produce some uh, some flowers hopefully I'll get some fruit on here pretty soon the cantaloupe was crazy um yeah, I researched it online and they say that you're gonna get an average to one to two cantaloupes per plant and I was calling you know uh -uh, false news on that because I had like seven or eight baby cantaloupes on this thing but here's the thing they all died off uh, I'm looking at two one two two more baby ones right now you know within six inches of each other one there another one there and there must have been 10 or 15 on this plant but for some reason they'll make the little fruit and then a bunch of them die off but I still got this one this is doing really really good it's uh if you can see it it's in there hang on it's got a good size to it but um yeah it makes a lot of cantaloupes but a lot of them just die off it's kind of weird I don't know uh I guess maybe the news is right. Like it'll produce a bunch, or it'll, it'll the fruit will start, but most of them just don't survive to really start growing. Uh, kind of weird. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that and, and find out what's going on. But as you can see, that one down there is it's coming along just fine. Okay, that's it for the garden update. Now for the depressing rabbit update. As everybody's aware, we had a dog attack. Uh, about five days ago, four or five days ago. Uh, I am sad to say that I made an executive decision this morning and I went ahead and put the one doe down that got the worst of it. Uh, she stopped eating and stopped drinking water and I just, I didn't see any sense in her, uh, suffering. Uh, you know, as long as she was eating and drinking and, and, you know, sniffing me and playing with me when I stuck my hand in there, I was more than willing to feed her by hand and water her by hand and see if I could nurse her back to health. But uh, apparently sometime last night, uh, things just took a turn for the worse. And I came at her this morning and she was just uh, lethargic. Uh, she wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink. She just looked pretty rough. So I, uh, I decided to go ahead and put her down. And the really crappy part is now... The other one, Milkmaid, she's starting to look the same way. She's just kind of lethargic. And uh, 
I'm probably going to, uh, after I turn this camera off, I'm probably going to go ahead and put her down as well. Um, she just, I just don't see no needing them suffering. You know, obviously I'm thinking her, her back legs broke and it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, there's no need in, in going on like this. I mean, there's, there's really, I mean, I called a couple of vets and there's really nothing they, I mean, they do try to work on rabbits and stuff, but there's really not a whole lot that they can do. Uh, rabbits need to be mobile. And, uh, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put her down here in a few minutes, unfortunately. Uh, Za did not have any babies. Uh, it was a false pregnancy. She, as you can see, the nest is empty. She was not pregnant, so uh, the breeding did not take. You know, it's I've been told that that, that happens quite regular, uh, so it's not that big of a deal, especially in the summertime. So uh, it's about time to breed her again, so we'll go from there. But they're all just chilling, you know, it's just a little warm out here. They're just kind of laying low. You know, they're obviously they're not burning up or they'd be up on the cold plates, but they're just, uh, they love the nest boxes, what can I say? These little monsters are nuts. I'm fixing to separate them, male to female, and uh, get you know half and half in one cage. Uh, and I've got the stuff for their automatic watering system and automatic feeding system that I'm going to build. A bigger tarp to cover the entire fenced-in area, um, and going to try to upgrade this rabbitry a little bit. And then uh, within hopefully the next 30 days or so, go ahead and get a permanent structure built. I'm actually coming up with some different designs in my head what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sink about four four by four posts in a straight line on the back side I'm gonna hang two sets of cages top and bottom and on the front side hang two sets of cages top and bottom off of just the one row of four by fours that way the cages are back to back they're not gonna be taking up that much room they'll basically take up as much room as this one cage if there was two side by side, they'll take up uh, ma maximum five feet wide, but eight feet tall. And that way it'll be real easy to get a good roof on top of them, get them out of the elements, get them up off the ground, where they're easier to manage and easier to maintain and up off of these cinder blocks. Because as you can see, they like to crap on the cinder blocks. Rabbits are not the, the most smart animals on the planet. I'm going to go ahead and say that. They're, they're fun, but they... They're messy and lazy as crap. They're, they remind me of a teenager, but it is what it is. But unfortunately, I did have to uh, put one down this morning, and it looks like I'm going to go ahead and have to put the other one down. Uh, I don't like to see them suffer, and I mean, they don't act, she didn't act like she was in pain, neither did the one I put down. Um, they were eating. I mean, both of them yesterday ate an entire half a head of lettuce by themselves. I mean, I was spoiling them good watering them by hand, feeding them by hand. They were just chowing down. And then for some reason, things just went south last night. I don't know if maybe uh, from the dog bite, he got infected, it could have. Uh, uh, and that's also one of the reasons why I chose not to harvest the meat because there's a possibility maybe, maybe it was rabies or something and I don't want to take a chance on that obviously. But uh, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to say that I lost two meat rabbits to the dog attack, uh, which really sucks. But, you know, lesson learned uh, is all my fault. I'm kind of pissed at, I'm, you know, I'm mad at the dogs, but I'm more mad at the owner, and I'm more mad at myself than anybody else. Uh, but i got to get in here. As you can see, this place is a mess. I came through and just emptied out a bunch of the old containers and stuff. I got to get in here and do some raking and, and get this stuff cleaned out. But uh, like I said, it's been kind of hectic around here for the last few days. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, hopefully some of you guys will tune in tonight uh, for the live canning session. We are canning uh, chili at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you guys tune in for that. Uh, and I will talk to you later. And stay tuned for more updates.